Hello friends, welcome back to the second part of the topic Environmental Conservation and Disaster Management where today we are going to understand the basics about ecology. What is ecology? So at first, uh, ecology is derived from two Greek words that is oikos and logos. Here as mentioned, ecology is equal to oikos plus logos. Now what do you mean by these two words? Oikos means house or dwelling place where someone or something resides and logos means the study of. So combining these two words, the definition of ecology may be something like this. The study of organisms with respect to their house or dwelling place. This is known as ecology. So the study of uh, living organisms with respect to where do they live. This study is known as ecology. Now moving further. Ecosystem. Now what is ecosystem? After learning the basic meaning of ecology, we will understand what is ecosystem. An ecosystem is a graphic area where plants, animals and other organisms as well as weather and landscape work together to form a bubble of life. So basically this is a particular area where uh, this living organisms, living beings like plants, animals and other organisms as well as weather and landscape work together. So the coordination of this uh, living organisms and uh, the weather and the landscape this forms a bubble we can say a cycle of life this is known as ecosystem this particular entire area is known as ecosystem ecosystems contain biotic living parts as well as abiotic factors that is non-living parts so considering the first definition we can say that living parts are plants animals and other living organisms and uh, abiotic that is non-living parts are weather and landscape so these all things uh, form a bubble of life that is biotic and abiotic and this bubble of life is known as ecosystem so actually now we can see that ecosystem is the life cycle where we understood that uh, abiotic factors that is non-living parts are weather and landscape while the last point here shows that biotic factors may be plants animals and other organisms so this is ecosystem uh, moving further continuing with the ecosystem every factor in an ecosystem depends on every other factor either directly or indirectly so it may be biotic or abiotic but everything is dependent on each other on this earth and this is why it forms a cycle that is a bubble of life a change in the temperature of an ecosystem will often affect what plants will grow there if we consider the example of dinosaurs which were residing millions of years ago the temperature in which dinosaurs used to reside was uh, very high as compared to what it is now so with the change in the temperature the entire species changed then animals that depend on plants for food and shelter will have to adapt to the changes move to another ecosystem or perish so once the species of the plants change the animals which were dependent on these type of plants will have to either move to some other place i mean uh, they need to migrate for their food it means that they are changing their ecosystem they are changing their bubble of life their cycle of life by moving to another ecosystem now if these animals are not able to cope up with the change then they will have to perish the species will not exist like dinosaur continuing with the ecosystem the whole surface of the earth is a series of connected ecosystem likewise if we consider the entire earth is having different different areas where they are forming a bubble of life or cycles of life ecosystem are often connected in a larger body Biomes are larger sections of land, sea or atmosphere. So see these biomes are the areas like land, sea or atmosphere where uh, di entirely different life cycles exist. Like forest, forests have their own life cycle. Ponds, life cycle in ponds is also different. Reefs, tundra and all types of biomes. This is all about the second part of the topic, environmental conservation and disaster management. This is all for today. Thank you for watching.